Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today we're gonna have a quick video because I was so damn busy throughout the entire day. I think it's almost like 10 p.m. right now. Uh, and I didn't know what I was gonna do up until just a couple hours ago. But anyhow, I saw on my Facebook feed a potential logo design that was being presented for a local high school for a stadium. And so I decided to take a crack at it, at redesigning it kind of, but keeping the same concept in mind. So whenever you come across a logo design that you have to redesign or even start from scratch that has a lot of elements in it, this is a good technique and just an idea as a way to kind of combine everything into one single mark. All right, so I'm not going to do any design work in Illustrator or anything. This is just going to be an explanatory uh, video. So yeah, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. Okay, so this is basically the logo that was proposed, and uh, there are several different elements that are basically a requirement as a part of the logo for the stadium. So obviously, you know, having the the Indian head for Warren G. Harding's uh, logo obviously would make complete sense to have and include. And then also this arc here is also something that's central to the logo. Um, the type here, obviously, and this spear sort of thing, which is uh, something that they have on the player's helmets. So to include these, and plus this red element also has significance to the school. So the issue that I saw when I first saw this coming across my Facebook feed, this is a local thing, uh, is everything kind of just feels separate. Um, you, you have three separate primary elements basically you have you know this up here you have the type and then you have the spear and uh, the arrowhead I mean and then you have this type Raiders which is kind of the like the the sports uh, name of the of the school so everything just kind of felt separate so when it comes to sport logos or any logos where you have a lot of requirements are kind of complex uh, the way you really need to construct them is to, is to make them feel as a one identifiable identifiable object is to just try to combine everything kind of in a central shape so what I did is this over here so let me just zoom out here real quick so if we scroll out we could see the differences between these two logos and this over here of course everything just kind of feels like one identifiable mark so we have all the necessary elements we have him, we have the arc, we have the uh, the spear, and, and to, to try to make them combined, I added kind of a, like a hand here, like as if he's holding this spear, um, and then obviously, you know, using different colors and highlight colors, uh, although keeping it minimal as well, and basically taking this whole thing and, and, and really making it feel like a sports logo, and so also it works well in grayscale as well, and even black and white. So that's just a quick tip, just to kind of, you know, if you have a logo, you have a lot of requirements, you know, the best bet is to really try to condense them into a single shape like this. Uh, and that's it. So, yeah, today was a difficult day. Uh, it's already 9.45 p.m. <laughs> and uh, my goal is to record a video every day of the year of 2014. What is today? Uh, March 29th. I don't know how many days it is, but that's close to 100 consecutive videos. I think it's around 90 at the point uh, at this point. But anyhow, so yeah, today had to be a quick video. Um, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow and yeah, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet. Oh, and also just to show off something real quick that I released on the forums. Let me get this thing in here. I'm gonna get my browser window up. One second. So those of you who follow this channel know that I've recently just launched forums and now I've added a live chat down here at the bottom of the main forums page where of course you know you can go ahead and type whatever you want and I'm I'm going to be here a lot so yeah all right I'm Gary Simon designcourse.com and I will see you tomorrow